whatever it is. You go to bed. You're going to bed with two women. Yeah, well. I don't have a problem oh, with that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> For real, though. No. Hey, <laughs> Dada neru tsirwako Chimiro chako ne tsinzarako Tenreza rurimi pwere tsigo yemura Dada neru tsirwako Chimiro chako ne tsinzarako Tenreza rurimi pwere tsigo yemura Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Lovers Pamira on your program, Lovers Podcast Show. And uh, earlier on, we had a sudden cut. So we call that part one and apologies for that. However, we'll continue with the program that we started. The African beauty is the subject of the matter when we look into why is it important to appreciate ourselves, to look into what God has given us, the gold that God has given us, the beauty that God has given us, the hair, the naturalness, the skin, the melanin, which is so expensive, which costs you a dime. You won't. That's why you really find people who are buying melanin because it's so expensive. It's so expensive more than gold so let's dive uh, without wasting time let's dive into the conversation the moment they move the wig down they look younger i'm telling you a fact number three when a black woman has an afro she looks like she's got a crown on her head she looks majestic <laughs> like a dog oh. because no other race on earth sports an afro only black woman can spot an afro Facts. 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 So the first show I remember, one woman like some Zamogo Zuganzi, this is chat, the boots like a Tarsa could denga kundamari, and Maru Zesere like a Tarsa pass. Pass. We say that your hair, you are the only lady on earth where your hair defies gravity. Number four, but the new carry by some young read with a straight hair like this. With your natural hair, you can do that. It takes forever. No, no, I know, I know. We can just straighten the hair. Number five, no one could wear Mimi. My cornrows, my bands. You can fashion your hair, you can play it a thousand different styles. No other race on earth can do that but you. Ah. Number six, you can have my locks and you look very sexy. Ah. No other lady can have locks like you. Don't you want to get What say you, mm-hmm. man? Look, Number seven? <laughs> look <laughs> at the options that you have in the woods, and it mm-hmm. that is Zuda Maganaga, short hair, afro, straight hair, mm-hmm. kuru, kwa, yeah, my locks. Again. Six options oh, with your hair. No other race is the same. What more you want? You. you can look like them, get a straight hair, but they can never look like you. Facts. But they're doing it different now, Doc. What say you? What say you? Ah, ah, Becky. My submissions okay, no, no, ones. No, listen. So I hear what Doc is saying, and I, I, I'm not saying I, I disagree. But there's options. You did say but black six, women. You so six options. Oh, n- I want option number seven. I want option number eight. Daneta. Quit it, China. They are now but, doing but, it differently. But, 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 Is that correct, we, Becky? Come on, come on, give it, give it to us. Okay, that silence means yes. <laughs> now, Chinzo okay. Manji, now it gets worse. And this one, when we don't forget China, my China, and it don't know. Right. I can tell you. When now, I'm going Automatic respect, I can't, I can't, I can't. But this is what you have to respect. Because you know, my mind is going to grow. I just go back to a rough, chit, chit, chit. I couldn't respect. I don't tell you, I'm going to push you into another. So I figure out. So now, you know, but there are no rasa and it. I say, oh, we say, my marriage is going to be like India, like Brazil, like Peruvian. We say, two hundred, four hundred, six hundred, eight hundred, whatever. Okay. Our good thing is, my marriage is not so dream big. Yeah, it's not married. But you are much worse now, Mara, or good now, but they can't afford these huge figures. So they do synthetic? Yeah. 
saka muno mutema handi kutaruda human here 100% not mm. necessarily chitukudu hapa il look il look kuti simurungu so mm, right handi zvingoti kana chete saka isungati gadzire zvima fiber zvinungu okay if i'm to translate that what he's simply saying is that uh, now after the chinese have realized that africans are not proud of themselves and they want to look like a white person like a white woman uh, therefore they uh, came up with a plan of creating of manufacturing synthetics uh, which are cheaper because the human hair would be more expensive and only for the elite class for the elite group of people those who have money who have the capacity now the chinese have created something that is much far much affordable uh, that can be used in place of the uh, human hair because there's no kuti ngoluka ngwe murunguso anotenga ni yo ano vakadzima anotenga sure fiber ever gadzirwa kati vatai chipisa imanje zvikuti kana sisi anotora pa chiwanze anongo chito keep amusoro chiwig chiyo but that to change ama ya kuti kesa matomato pamusika ya kuchipisa sei chakanzi keep amusoro was no ono kuroro amusoro so chikwenya kwenya chi this is a sorry state of uh, our beauty which has been ravaged by the so called beautifying trying to emulate the other races because a lot we, we our, our children are suffering sometimes when i look at my kids uh how they used to cry i can re- reflect now how they used to cry for being uh, done their hair and uh, uh so painful and all those kind of things uh, getting those artificial logs and all those kind of things how so and painful it is but if you just keep it simple no pain no pain is a necessary pain whatsoever to the girl child to the woman you see vudzirimo so randidi vudzirimo hapo two days no geza mapo takunwa sweat ndi zvere ndi shosho we have no singirwa for one month two months three months waka trepa sweat ni makweno I want to china ka. Ayo ka pati hitu ka. Mu weave nga nga visit sweat in vase ka. It's proper hair, yes. Ayo and that weave. Eh eka. You know you know send ro. Yes, you can. You know the ones that you are saying china i know so tengis kwa yama wig or whatever. You can either now wait as a wig or you can sew it on. And you should be able. No no geza se ku visit. Yaito zvikusondruka kunamirwa. Mwanamira futi ka. You wash. You you do wash your hair. Doc, I hear what Becky, you're saying. This is a tough one to It's defend. It's not a tough one. And, and I'm not defending it. I'm no. just giving reasons okay. as to why the women <clears throat> are doing let me, let me, it. Let me explain to you. And that was what ndima kana kupinda kadzeza. Mhm. Yes. And remember, in this sort of secret, we are number one as in is a dancer. Okay, what uh, Doc is saying there is that uh, African woman is the most beautiful woman in the whole world in whatever form in or whatever format the naturalness the way a, an african was created it was like god had all the time in the world to sit down and create an african woman and be able to present it to the world the beauty that an african woman possesses is beyond measure it's awesome it's outrageously beautiful wakadzi ku south korea ku japan ku china ku india varungu chichichi one mongo zo dance ku dzira ku dance i dance with all these women right and that dance now is so the the dance now but 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 in the temple yokadzi yesa kana ndozi yokomuno kuti ah ah hana big ndimune nyese but amuzizi kuti ndimune nyese that's all i'm saying now eh, ask yourself for a second kuti you have six options with your hair and no other race has got the same options why why is that i'll give you the answer mm-hmm. you can google in science there's a gene known as eve gene after adam and eve eve okay. gene google it the eve gene is the only gene capable of producing the other races 
That's only gene that can do that. That's a fact. Now, imimi uh, anabeki. Okay, let me show you. This is the if gene. Okay, I'm going to read it out. Not everything. The if gene refers to the uh, mitochondrial DNA, uh, empty DNA of mitochondrial, uh, mitochondrial if the most recent common ancestor of all modern humans. Mitochondrial if is a, a hypothetical woman who lived in Africa around 140,000 to 200,000 years ago, according to estimates. Key facts. Mitochondrial DNA is passed down solely from mother to child, making it a useful tool for tracing maternal lineage. All living humans can trace their mitochondrial DNA back to mitochondrial Eve, making it the most recent common ancestor of all modern humans. Mitochondrial Eve's uh, empty DNA is classified as hypergroup L which is the most ancient and widespread uh, empty DNA lineage among humans. A research suggests that mitochondrial Eve and their descendants lived in southern Africa for approximately 30,000 years before the LO lineage split into its first subgroup. Southern Africa. And that's where we, we come from. Mm. Southern Africa. <laughs> Astonishing. I've never seen something like this before. Amazing stuff. Just be open. Open your heart. Open your mind. Know some, some stuff. Know some facts. Do some researches. Or listen to some people who have done some researches. And if you want to study further and do your secondary illumination, you can do that. This is why you have six options with your hair and nobody else has the same option because imimi you are the mother of all the races you are the mother of mankind but in the what you now have is a situation where the original the real original not big imimi the og is trying to copy the copy that's all say buzz the original is trying to copy the cop the copy <laughs> Because of okay. mm -hmm. Mindset. Mindset. So are you now, saying as black women, if we put away all the weaves, the wigs um that we have purchased? Six the six billion. Yeah. <laughs> and that's like a whole industry gone, Doc. Oh, yeah. Like a, that's like we've wiped out a whole industry. Yeah. But but the, the, businesses the, the, that have no, 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 families. But, 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 do you know who's making the money? Who's making the money? The six billion. It's not. <laughs> it's the white people. Even it, if it, we it, have the zero point zero one percent of that, and, and, and this is why, because people say, but your grandmother is a doctor, so we're talking about investments. So this is why we need all. <laughs> Should we eat poison? Because the one who is producing the poison is making billions of money. Is making money? No, that's not an excuse. Alternative. Ways of, of, of creating wealth. Rather than go to children, you drugs. You could sell cocaine if you want and make mm. a lot of money. Mm. You sell drugs, okay. you want a bronco, chichi. You can do that. If it's just money you're talking about, you things like Yanita Mari, of course, sell bronco, sell cocaine, sell, no. and then make money. No. So there, there must be other ways of making money which are much better, which are good for society, which are good for us. Now, so I think that you got the Eve gene. Do you have to say that? But I'm so good. Tuenda paskina, nuna zana ruko bleacher. Nuna mm -hmm. zana 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 let me tell you. Isusu, we got the greatest gift from God. Melanin, the pigment that makes us dark. That's the greatest gift from God. Mm -hmm. Now with both of melanin, you don't wrinkle easily. You don't. Mnusu wika 50, 60, 70, even 80, wanambuye, skin yaka naka naka, warungu, early 40s. They wrinkle. With our number one. That's number one. Number two. Get good skin on the boots around this whoop chandu was not a gondo. Ogaro and is already written my skin cancers. Right. Emir, with my skin cancer, you're protected. Nemelanin. Those are the chuna 
those who are not getting any albinism, but it must be why. Jesus, my name is Jesus. You know, Jesus. He can't say this is because I'm not melanin. This is the problem. Now, big, I'm a good bleach of visa melanin in Rangwin. What to my celebrity? <laughs> I'm like on the bleaching, I'm with you. No, 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 like it's, it's the, the two go together. Mm. But anyway, here's the story. Yeah. When I give, when I talk to ladies, like, you know, to imagine, Becky, your whole body was covered by gold. You have a very, very expensive body, right? Yeah. Anybody who's listening to this program, please Google the price of gold per gram. I don't know what it is today, but you know, normally it's about $76, sometimes $78, like gold, you yeah, But if you Google it, you'll see price of gold. Now, your body is not covered by gold. It's covered by melanin, that pigment. Google today, the price of melanin per gram mm. is maybe around $440. $440. Look, I'm leaving. $40. Your we melanin. I'm out. Yo, melanin. Oh, sit down. <laughs> Doc, tell them. Yo, melanin. Your skin <laughs> is six times more expensive than, than gold. gold. But because you're huh. ignorant, you bleach it. And <laughs> stupid people make celebrities of those kind of people. Come Imagine. on, please, please give me a break. Peggy. Give me a break. Peggy, no, 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 what? no, no. I'm cool. What? <laughs> Nigga, I'm what? Cool. What? I'm cool. What? I'm cool. I'm cool. And now. Okay. I'm going to move on now. I moved mm-hmm. down now. You know, um, he, he saw that movie Black Panther. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, then I grew and so on. So if you if you if you just Google and I grew a grew you see then I I try appreciate my art at work, my, my art at home. Pani, I got this sculpture means feeling good by Dominique Benura. And when I give art talks, oh, I you got Benura's art in your home. And uh, lot, lots of his, lots of his he's work. a good friend of mine. Right. But I bought some of his best work. And and this feeling good when I give art talks, not if you come to my house and you're living you're feeling very low. I'll walk with you to this feeling good lady. We converse with her and we start feeling good too. But the point I'm trying to make is one of those studios after White um, Black Panther was at um, Avengers in Feet Wars. And, and I was lucky enough I got invited to the uh, to the premiere. But you only tell you this every race on earth, every lady on earth, they envy, they admire your lips. You may not know it. They, they know about your lips. Because your <laughs> lips, <laughs> your lips as a black woman, mm. they are thick, they are fulsome. Show us, Becky. Show the camera. <laughs> they are luscious. Mm. They are sexy. Sagamaru, so, if they want to look beautiful, they inject Botox mm. to gain I volume. volume. That's what people do to try to look beautiful because they know that your, your lips are the most beautiful. Now, <coughs> I go to Brazil a lot, and, and one of my doctors with a fortune, bum enhancement with my garment, but you implants, what, 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 what. Mm. Becky, you know yourself, there is no lady on earth who's got bums like the black woman. Was yours? Facts. Hey, Vita <laughs> you, yours are big, they are beautiful, they're round, they are the most erotic. <laughs> Dark! <laughs> He ain't talking about me only. He said black women. He said black women. <laughs> All right? He said black women. Talk is on a roll. That's why these other races, they pay, pay a fortune to have them enhanced. But mm. they don't have what you have. You know, it's so sad. When I'm a black woman, I know my woman is dead, but I'm going to enhance it because I'm going to go to <laughs> so, Becky, all I'm saying to you, my dear, is listen, you've got it all, baby. And I'm serious about this. You have the best hair with all these options. Nobody has the same options as you. The skin, most expensive skin in the world, six times more expensive than gold. Ha. The lips. Hala. Now, <laughs> And this I addressed to you. You know, I've got interest in young people. I was invited to you know, the NASH, National Association of Secondary School Headmasters and Headmistresses. They had a conference in Trollbegin. And that's the first time I spoke about this. So invite me as a guest speaker, Gromad Nyotara. So I said to them, you know, you headmasters and headmistresses, you have an awesome responsibility to install confidence in the black the child. Student, yeah. Let a little black girl know, sweetie, there's nothing wrong with your hair. There's nothing 
wrong with your skin? God or nature did not make a mistake on you. Mm. In fact, do you know, you have the best hair. You got all these six options. You have the best skin. You got melanin. Nobody is telling our children this. Nobody. Facts. So, I was sitting at the podium and uh, the hierarchy was sitting next to me. The trust of Goraju, my week, my week. And then I stood up to speak and I looked at the audience. I took a chin to look toward begin. I asked my week, my guy. And I said, Mariga, Tibatsi, they open up. I didn't have another speech. That's the only speech I had. So I said to them, We have had mistresses here who are teachers who are mothers. Now, you are in education, so you know more than I do that every little child looks up to the mother, yeah. looks up to the teacher, mm. looks up to the headmistress, or looks up to that aunt like Becky who's successful. The, ma the, ma the child has their own natural hair. She looks at mom, we grieve, teacher, we grieve, headmistress, aunt, we grieve. Then she says to herself, how come my hair is not like my mom's hair? Or my teachers, my head, my, it means there must be something wrong <laughs> with me. Mm. I know more than a problem here. I know me there's a problem here. When we have a problem, when we have a our child has a problem. Something is wrong with me when they are young. They grow up with a chef with that mentality. Mm. That's why the races can just come here. After all, if you then have leaders with that kind of mindset, where do you think we'll go? No weaves. No wigs. No six now, billion dollar he, he, industry. So <laughs> here's what you're going to tell your friends. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you this, I'm serious about this. Each time we put on the wig, the weave, we are inflicting untold psychological damage to the black child. Yes, that's painful, dog. Because I got I a know daughter. It is. I got daughters, actually. So Please give them the confidence. Don't, don't do this nonsense. You know, okay. They can grow up like a Japanese child, like the, the yeah. Indian child, with that so, confidence. You know? All right, so, 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 Doc, I, I agree with what you say, a lot of it. Um, but I just want to put it to Becky. Like, mm. um, How do you think white people feel when they see you wearing their hair? Are they also question? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so, so it's they're like it's question. like you're saying they're beautiful because they have this sort of hair. Okay, so uh, okay for for as long as I have known this whole thing, Emma wigs and and stuff. My mom used to do it all. She would wear her natural hair. She would do the braids. She would have the wig. But at that time, I'm gonna like a like a band where it looked like she had an Alice band on, and then the hair at the back. She she worked in a bank. And I think at that time, in the 90s or so, they were very strict about, you know, the look, how you would come to work. You came in in an, in an afro, it's like, hey, I'm sorry, is everything all right? Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the corporate world also, and, and shunned, I, and, and, you know, I know. I know. It's, it's ignorance, brought that yeah. about. Yeah. And then you were not normal or not okay. You were not complete. You were not groomed. If your hair wasn't straight, and then the yeah, relaxers came into play. So, okay, I'm not Very wearing good. a wig, yeah, yeah. but I will, I will relax my hair because you want it straight. So, yeah, yeah. I will Thank relax you. my hair. Do you know that L'Oreal are being sued in the States right now as we speak mm. by black women because True. that chemical in my yeah, yeah, yeah. causes uterine cancer in black women. And they're being sued right now. Yeah. So, Lord, yeah. let me show you. Just hang on. This is what he's talking about. Lawsuit Information Center. Let us news ups, updates on class action lawsuit, personal injury, settlement, a hair relaxer cancer lawsuit. Uh, our lawyers are reviewing a hair relaxer cancer lawsuit in all 50 states. Our focus is on uterine cancer, endometrial cancer, ovarian cancer, uterine fibroids, and hysterectomy from fibroids. Our law firm is concentrating our effort on the following, Dark and Lovely, Ultra Sheet, ETC, Al Oreo, the most prominent defendant, a company worth nearly $225 billion. This is what Dr. Gromatin has just said. 
ORS olive oil hair relaxer just to me just for me motions all these are under investigations concerning uh, the problems health and injuries that they have inflicted on people who are using uh, uh, these chemicals uh, for their hair but yeah but not only that braids Yes, now cancer. we now we have to be careful cancer. on the like on the braids that we yeah, yeah, we buy. Cause cancer also. You can't buy canicolone braids because they because, they cause cancer. They, yeah. they cause cancer. You have to buy like like the um, I think it's like a, a, a synthetic type, but not yeah. canicolone yeah. because it's it's doing that whole thing. So we've got the chemicals fighting against us. We've got the braids fighting against us. That's why others end up just braiding with wool. But do whatever you. But you know what. It's a length you, issue, Doc. You, you are so beautiful. It's a length issue. You know, I've got 42 ladies I work with. Mm -hmm. And the way it's very natural. Whether I force them, but I just need to enlighten them. Okay. Mm. We call that a very powerful, iconic fashion statement, which only a black woman can make. Not the race can make that statement. Mm. So if, if, if all corporates were like that, then you would have more, more black women comfortably going to work we, like we, that. You know what? We, we want to educate these people. That's why I talk. I mean, I don't care what people say now about me. But we, we need to educate people. Yeah. Now, we, women tell me, doctor, you talk to us. There's a green door. What kind of shit? Tell us your story. What did you hear? So I told them my story. <laughs> so uh, the paid the magic. They all put their hands up. They're telling me, yeah, boots can skin. So the doctor, uh, 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 we are not the problem. The problem is the black man. You are me, your brothers. They want to that name of the Maria Fire. Don't you think that we catch name of the And as soon as you go natural, the next thing is got a girlfriend. I don't think that she, my wig. Can I three five up? One Muchugu, four are dark. Muchugu, they are no black one. Machine, you are true. Ninety percent of the money got you. Muchugu. Saga, Dr. Mimi, with all due respect, next time I'm selling my quatiri. Talk to your brothers. That's what they told me. And, 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 and. Brothers, brothers, my brothers, here's knowledge best for you, for you and I. This is information for all of us, for our children, our sons, uh, for un our uncles, our nephews, <laughs> our brothers. It's a message for us men. Let's take it on. And I, I, I get invited now as Men's Cave and all these things, and I talk about this. And... You know, I think many might get upset with me, but I'm going to say it now. I have said, especially to young people, because that's my interest. I want, mm. them to, I want these young guys to grow up with confidence. Could you go the best? Their mind is still oh, malleable. Yeah, because, you know, <laughs> most of the guys, just name my jeans, actually, because you know, Olympics, 100 meters. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we 200 meters, 400 meters. That's all by coincidence. It's actually the strands of DNA that we have. Good, powerful genes, but not just physical, even intellectual. My lights are going to go back as well. See, hey, Thomas Edison, but if it, the filament was a black guy in Latimo. GPS. Mm. You know? My I think we'll look further into other aspects, other areas, but this really has hit me hard. Very, very hard. And uh, I'm having a lot of adjustments and I'm having a lot of reflections and thinking about what Dr. Salam Gramatun touched on. And uh, I encourage you to do the same. This is a heritage. This is a blessing. This is something that we can take into the future. This can make a difference in the lives of our children. The diseases that are not necessary the genes, the genetics that we inherit when we put on those uh, human hairs will not be necessary. The diseases that they're dying, they will talk about it later on in this uh, uh, podcast. Uh, but maybe for the for the for the for, for, for the uh, sake of uh, you know to for the to remove all the doubts. Automatically, my gears are changing. So many things. So we want the young people to know the Musanya people from the Zinza Kadai got the Buzid. No, 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 give me the yes. And once we do that, Tautanga Gumaji, we talk. But as soon as we're Tina Zubeki, we should be living better than Switzerland or Sweden. I'm telling you. Because we've got the reason. Everything is here. Everybody, Fumba.
But the sleep on my job. So, what I say to young people is, if you meet a black man, it doesn't matter how powerful he is. It doesn't matter how wealthy he is. It doesn't matter how well-educated he is. Mm. If his wife or mistress or girlfriend wears a wig or if the two things you don't give him, your trust and your respect, he doesn't deserve it. That's all you niggas. Because of a weave and a wig. A That's joke. all you niggas. <laughs> Nash, where do you stand? <laughs> where do That's you That's everybody. Stand? My wife is a weave, as we speak. So don't. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we got no, no respect no, for no, you. No, no. You, see, you see, Nash, I say if your wife is a weave, whatever it is, you go to bed. You're going to bed with two women. Yeah, well. I don't have a problem oh. with that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> For real, though. My God. But, but, but he, he, oh, my God. He, he's oh, he's, he's oh been trying God. to go to bed with two women. He, he has the problem. Oh, no. The other is the genie of Kazogantiti. The other genie of Kazogantiti. The other genie of Kazogantiti. The other genie if you don't have a problem with that, you don't want to do Nakafa. That's a. He must be sleeping with a dead body, with a dead person. <laughs> <laughs> he escalated it very fast. I, I think I'll stop right there. Uh, <laughs> Becky, look, if you're not going to get it from, from that perspective... What I think that's where I wanted to get. And uh, I'm signing out. This is Lovers Podcast. Until next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers.